Okay, my friends, another shocker du jour. What do you see there? Now, you're mud fossil people, most of you, because nobody else can find me. <laughs> so, probably you've seen a bunch of my videos. Now, what do you see? Before I explain what I think it is, what do you think it is? Now, I want to make you aware of a couple of things. You see how this light color here and then this dark green? For some reason, they they do that. They patch it in there. That's done by by um, by uh, Google Earth. That's not on the Earth normally. But all that stuff is, and all this, and the colors and so forth. Primarily, the colors are right. Sometimes they're a little like. See how it's real dark here and a little lighter here, and the same thing here. It's still a green, but it's they somehow. I don't know why they do that. They block it off like that. I didn't do it. So now, just stay tuned to this because this is just this is just insane. I mean, it's crazy, and that is the Azores. All right, now focus in your mind. Think of what you're thinking it is, and then have your mind open to understanding. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's that. What is the evidence? You know, don't don't make any solid determination before you examine the evidence, but come up with a hypothesis. Okay, just well, I think it looks like, or this may, makes me lead to think it's. All right, so let's do it. All right, if you've been around here at all, you've not heard me talk about Ovid many, many, many times. And he wrote Metamorphosis. Well, what is metamorphosis? It means to change from one thing into another thing, like a caterpillar into a butterfly. These gods could do it to anything they wanted. Listen to this. I'm going to cut right down. He wrote all these books. He wrote Brazilian books, all the way from the gods and everything. He had book one, the creation, ages of mankind, flood, Deucalion, who was Noah and during the flood. All of this, 15 books he wrote, and I mean in extreme detail. Now, here's how he starts off his books. Every book, the first thing he says, metamorphosis or transformation, a unifying theme amongst the episodes of the metamorphosis. Every one of them talks about being able to change, to be able to morph. Ovid raises its significance explicitly in the opening lines of the poem. The poem means his works. Right in the first lines. He says, I intend to speak of forms changed into new entities. Forms, well, what is he talking about? Accompanying this theme is often violence inflicted on upon a victim whose transformation, whose change, becomes part of the natural landscape. Everything we're seeing is bodies. Here it is right here, metamorphosis. And, and, and <laughs> that's, um, he was, he wrote during the time of Julius Caesar, right about 0 AD, or in that range. And, um, but he compiled everything from all the other author, authors in history in a very, very comprehensive way. And it's um, extremely detailed. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me just show you this. Now, check this out. There is a great variety among the types of transformations, all kinds of different variety, from humans to inanimate objects like the constellations, into animals, into plants, from animals and ants into fungi and mushrooms, into humans, into sex, different changes in their sexes, different colors from different pebbles, from metamorphosis, and often it's just they could change themselves to anything they wanted, including planets and hot-looking guys. Okay, my friends, as you know, my claim is that the Earth, the globe, is entirely made of creatures' bodies, or was one gigantic creature covered with bodies of other creatures. I'm not exactly sure, but it is completely covered with creatures' bodies, as is this right here. Now, this is the Azores. Now, we're up pretty close. We're 500 meters off, and we're going to back out of here. 
Alright, you see what we're seeing here? Look at this. You see that? Nobody did this. Nobody came up here and plowed this stuff up like this. Alright, this is a natural formation. What would make something like this? Look at the edges of it. Look at what we're looking at here. Look at the edge and look at how it comes down in this webbing looking stuff. And this and this and this and this and all that. I find that fascinating. Alright, and here it is. Look. I don't think I don't think anybody came out here and dug that. This just happens to be the landscape. Now what would make these patterns like that. Just think about this. Look at it. I mean, I'm not seeing anybody coming out here to do this. If they are, I'd like to know. Now, they may be coming out here to do these fields. Yes, I can go along with that. I'm not sure of that. But I would imagine these are fields, but I can't even be sure of that. These could be natural landscapes. Because I'm pretty sure that is. Now, what is going on here? Don't forget, this is these little ripples. What's going on here? That's kind of unusual. Got some kind of patterns going on here. Alright, now this is just one area. Now look at this. Now if you're a mud fossil person, you know red blood grows green things very, very well. And the black blood does not. Alright? The green red blood grows things very, very green. Now is that, is that what's running off of here? I'm pretty sure it is. And what would have all this much red blood in it and this kind of abrupt transition here and look it scoops up you see how it scoops up here you gotta learn to really look at things close and to say well, how did this happen did somebody come up here and do this I don't think so Made this little pool of water? No, I don't think so. Did all this? No. That is natural. Now, what in nature would cause some patterning like that? And then do, doing this. I, I, I really don't have an explanation for this, to be perfectly honest with you. I just don't. It, it's I've never seen it before. But I do have every belief that this is not some construction of mankind. This just happens to be a feature of the landscape that is, in my opinion, biological. And they would say, oh no, that's a lava, a lava flow. It's just a lava flow, lava. Well, in that, like that, da 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 I'm not going to buy that. That's not working for me. What about this over here? What's going on with that? That's, anytime you see the red, it's in my. Anytime you see this kind of color, it indicates flesh, red, and the redder it is, the bloodier it is. And this whole thing runs right around in this little scoopy thing. Now this one here is the killer. I think I know what this is, but I'm not going to say it right at the moment. Look at that. You see that? Check that out. And they say, well, it's another volcano. And that's all volcano stuff. Well, let me see. Why is it yellow over here and red over here and green and black over in that area and running off in these big bubbles? And the... the the green color is just phenomenal coming out of here. And it's running down here. And this is red. This is not... 
you know, there's, there's all the different colors of blood in this particular structure, and I think this is a heart. I think this whole thing is a heart, and that is like the aorta. And down here, there's some more plumbing. I don't know what it is, but there's all, in your heart, there's all kinds of different little blood vessels and valves and tubing and all these kind of things going around. I, it, to me, I would go with a heart. I'd go with it. This thing is a heart. That's what, that's what I'd go with. It's hard to say. But there's a whole bunch of all these little islands. I don't know what they were from. I mean, they're all part, I mean, they must be all part of the same creature, if it is a creature. And these are the kind of things you really got to dig in close and look, see, what, what, what do I see here? This to me, I'm... I'm seeing some kind of scaly looking stuff. I haven't looked at it close, but I got a feeling it's, well, I know it's, it's some kind of, everything's biology, so, and this here, I don't know, that's some, like a pimple or something. Look at that. What would that be from? big bubble on something like that. There's another looking thing. The same sort of stuff. Now what they are, as far as I'm concerned, and no question whatsoever, this is biology. These are not impact craters or whatever. You know, volcanoes maybe. Maybe they were, but volcanoes are nothing more than biology, just, you know, like um, composted. Now, could that guy be the guy's heart and this guy be the guy's head? I don't know. That's definitely had some serious amount of body fluids in their blood, basically. And that's my opinion. Now, coming down this way, what would be here? I don't know. You know, we could look at this thing all day long, and, and I, you know, I'm just guessing, really. I, I, I don't think it's a human being or a, a, a big guy. I have no idea, none whatsoever. But I see all these little pock, 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 pock. What's going on there? And it's heading all the way up to this. You see, you can see sort of an outline coming all the way up. And what would be there that would be blown out like that? There's the Azores way down here, and these are all the other little islands. There's another little island there, there's another little island over here. You know, I don't know if they're all inhabited, but I think they are. I didn't realize they were at first, but when I started digging in, look, this has got an airport. You know, how inhabited? I don't know. And what this is, who could say? And 
And I, you know, I could see some kind of an outline sort of a thing going on here. What it is, I don't know. But it, this, if this was part of this whole thing, you would think this is also part of it. And is there a little piece of it way back out here? Whatever that is, I don't know. But they're sticking up here out of the ocean for some reason, way out in the ocean. And I believe they're part of creatures, some kind of a creature. Now this one here, you know, see there's inhabitants out here too, I'm sure. Yep, see it? When you look at them from high up, they say, oh, there's nobody living there. No, there's people living all over everywhere. <laughs> nice big tennis court, whatever it is. But again, biology. I'm absolutely sure this is biology. What the heck is going on there? Hmm. Looks like a salt pit or something. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Like I said, there is nothing but biology. You just got to figure out what it is and how eroded it is and torn up and smashed up because all of those things have happened to them. Okay, my outstanding friends, once again, another shocker du jour from the home of the shocker du jour, Mud Fossil University, Roger, your host. This right here is out in the um, Atlantic Ocean, near the Azores, but not part of the Azores, I don't believe. However, it appears to me to be almost identical to the Batagaika crater over in Russia. And I know it's some kind of body organ, but I, I'm not exactly sure what. But it's a, virtually identical to the Batagaika um, crater. Now, it's extremely deep, as you can see, and that you see it falls into these deep ravine here. Now, this bleeds off it, which is a tied into this system right here. And this is veins and arteries. Now, why is it tied in so exactly to that specific body structure there? Because well, I don't know what kind of creature this was, first of all, but I can guarantee you there's absolutely no question in my mind. That is some kind of an organ, and it is working with the blood here. And you should see right here, you see that? That's vein blood, that black, and I mean that is as black as it gets. That's vein blood, and it's just flowing out of here. Now, all, this is the red blood. The red blood is, is uh, red. <laughs> I mean, duh. <laughs> now, what, what kind of an organ this was and why it ties in with this, I don't know. Maybe some doctor would know that what that organ is, but it's virtually identical to the structure of the one that is the Batagaika. And you see it running off here? You see this whole thing running off? And then it runs into this field of craters, which are blood vessels. These are all blood vessels. What's going on here? I don't know. But I can tell you what, it is biology. So now let's look at the Azores, because the Azores is fabulous. Now I did a video on um, Batagaika. Hold on a second. Here it is right here. There's a Batagaika. That's, I don't see a whole lot of difference. Maybe you do. I don't. 
That's basically the same thing. And I followed it all the way out to the airport and everything and all the way down into this, all these squiggly things, which I, I've seen a million times. I know where they come from, but I don't know what the creature is. And again, I don't know if this is a special organ, different than, than a human organ. I have no idea. But I can tell you what, this is biology. That Of that, I am 100% certain. Okay, the area I was just looking at, and this is, the, the whole area down here is completely saturated with biology. All this green is because of some kind of a bloody runoff. And the whole area here is covered with some kind of biology. And the reason I was looking at that, because it's right off the coast of Typhon and the fish. I was thinking if it had some relationship to that, and I, I really can't draw that. Now, here's the Azores. This is extremely cool. Wait till you see this. Now, check this out. This is, I'm not sure what, <laughs> but I can tell you what this is. This is all kinds of little blood vessels and so forth. I'm not sure what that is, but all that greenery means there's a lot of blood going on here. And all of these little blood vessels, they look like blood vessels to me. Now, I don't know what you see there, but I've been doing a lot of biology and I see blood vessels. You know, basically something similar to that. You know, there's a lot of little blood vessels and there's a lot of little blood vessels inside our hearts. Okay, what I was just showing you, that is some kind of an organ. I don't, I don't think it's a heart. It could have been, but I think the heart is really in the next island up. And here is what we're going to look. Don't forget that structure. Here we were here. This is the one here. I think it actually has the heart. And I think this whole thing is the heart, and that is the aorta. Look at all this stuff around here. Now, just take your time. Slow down. This is fine. They might have carved all these into fields. I wouldn't think why. Now, first of all, I want to explain something to you. You see when you see this light green color and then all of a sudden it turns dark green? That's just what, for some reason on, on uh, Google, that just happens. But I go with this color green is the green, and, and this should be very green like this is. Uh, because wherever, like this here, that's big blood vessels. Those are big blood vessels. They run down here and everything grows extremely green in the red blood. And there's a red blood right there. It's puddling up down here. It's, it's, these are coming out of this, I believe it's aorta. Now, let's take your time and look at it. Now, this is basically the black area of blood, which is the vein type of blood. All right. Wherever you see the red, it's the arterial blood, the hematite. This is magnetite. This is hematite, hematite. This right here, the yellow, that normally I associate to the, the plasma or lymph, that type of thing, because that is also in the heart area. All of those things are being pumped through your body, through the heart. Now, this is just too, too much. All of that little ve vessels and blood vessels and so forth. Plus, you see where it runs off here? You see it running out here? Those blobs didn't just show up for nothing. Those are blobs of blood, and they love to grow the green things on blood. And that's what it is right there. And it's just sort of seeping out here and there. There's some over here. Look at that. That didn't just happen there by accident. That, nobody came up there and dumped a bunch of piles on it. And they always say, oh, this is volcanic. Well, all right, let's talk about volcanoes. Because volcanoes are not understood either. There's all kinds of different volcanoes. And they all represent body parts that are literally, you know, going through spontaneous combustion where they have been capped off. Now, if this was capped off and you sealed that off, instead of that stuff just sort of blah, 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 it would explode eventually. Yes, 100%. This, I don't think it'll ever explode. It'll, it might run a little extra here and there out, but I don't think it's ever going to pop like a cork. 
because it's just uncorked. <laughs> now, over here, look, this is just nothing but biology everywhere. And even this stuff here, I want, would they make that feel like that? Maybe they would, I don't know. Or is that the pattern of where the actual blood vessels were? Don't forget, they make extremely interesting patterns. As you can see right up here, look at that. I don't think anybody came in and said, let's carve this and this way and that way. No. And look at it. It's just bubbling out of here. And this is the Azores. I think this is a very, very interesting place. So anyway, that's the Azores, my friend. What it was originally, je ne sais pas. Which means I do not know. But I looked at all kinds of things, and it's everything here is biology. What kind of biology, what kind of creature it was, all that stuff, I don't know. See how they have it blocked in these different colors? I don't know why. Pick your color of the day. But this is all just running out of here. That's some kind of a body bubble. Where it's coming from, I don't know. What part of the body it was, I don't know, but this is a thing here. Maybe somebody smarter than I could tell. Here's another one. This is not just happening all by itself. Now, is this island inhabited? Yes, it is. They're all inhabited. But this, nobody did this. Whenever you see these abrupt transitions, that's what you got to pay attention to. Whenever you see these, all these different things, that's just not run off of rivers and little rivulets and so forth. And why is this so green and so, this red pocket down here? This is some kind of a, a bone foramen or something like that. Maybe it's the guy's heart and this is his head and his chest. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, it's, there's so much stuff now to look at. You know, I do this a lot, and, and I'm just amazed every time I, I focus in on something. What could it have been? How could that have happened? What caused these colors? What caused these, all of this stuff? Why is this big bump laying here in the middle of nowhere? What about all these different stripes and variations in the, in the rock formations? What caused that? This almost looks like it got scales. So, all I'm saying is the earth is literally a corpse and it is covered with bodies. As far as I can determine, that's all that exists. And the Azores, again, very interesting place. This, I don't know, it doesn't have much going on here. But I don't think the Azores will ever explode like a volcano. They say this is all volcanism. Well, that's fine. But again, volcanoes come in uh, several different varieties. There's a big, long, strained ones. Normally, those are intestines. I'm not kidding you. And the, the, what, in the intestinal garbage, really, they end up bubbling up because they're under pressure, under a long time, just like spontaneous combustion. If you take a whole bunch of wet, oily rags and so forth and cover them up, they will, they will self-combust. And that's what's happening in these volcanoes. And they are big and enormous, and the creatures were just staggeringly large. That's all I can tell you. You take the ones I showed the other day, the ones that are in Russia, the two gigantic vaginas. I know, I know, I know, it's crazy. 7,000 feet deep, a vagina. And they're in this region, there's two of them. You know, they're not right next to each other, they're far apart, but they're in the same depth, only 20 meters difference in the depth of them, 7,000 meters. And the other one was 7,020 or something. There was, there was giants in the earth in those days. And they're apparently the ones that gave birth to all this crazy stuff. And um, they are, they're part of the earth and they're gi gi 
gigantic vaginas. I'm just sorry, that's true. Go back through my videos, you'll find them. Go back through all of that stuff, because you, 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 right now, you're just looking around and being told things that just aren't true. Now, if, if my stuff is wrong, well, let's talk about it. But if it's right, it changes a lot of things, my friends, and it does, and it is right. I'm showing the evidence. All I ever hear from academia is, we know this happened 580 million years ago. And then they show layers of rock in 100 million years. Well, hold on a second. Okay, here we go, mainstream. Millions of years in one picture. All of these layers, this layer, then that layer, and they, they say it took so many years for this. Millions of years in one picture. Well, I'm going to tell you what. This, my friends, took about two hours. <laughs> and why do I say that? Because that was a creature that fell over dead. I don't know how long I'm thinking to die, but then it ended up petrifying. And the only part, the only reason this big thing is sticking up here, why would that stick up there and no, nothing around it? Here's why. There was a bone here, and there was muscle coming this way. Muscle erodes very easily. Bone erodes very easily. Tendon does not. Can I show this in my shop? Absolutely, I can. Okay, Roger, where's the proof? Well, this is proof for me. This is tendon. Tough, 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 and tougher. Bone, not so tough. Muscle, very weak. Now, what do I have here to show you? I show you this right here. And right there is what was sticking up in the ocean. That is tendon. This is the same as this rock, only it's extended a little further. We're seeing the bone. The bone is right here. Now, pay close attention once again. The close attention will always get you over the edge. Now, this is a tendon here. It locks into this bone. The bone's gone. But you see that little round thing right there? That's what locked this tendon in. This is an abrupt transition between the tendon here and the muscle. All we see in the ocean is right there. All that is now water. That eroded, this eroded. Well, what is this? That's a bone. That's a bone. That was a bone. If you can't see that was a round bone, well, I can't help you. What is this? That's the anchor. The anchors all of this to that bone somehow through this little mechanism and some kind of pin looks like to me. But this is the pin, and this is where it all broke. This is, we can see that pin in the one sticking up in the ocean. It's right there. And then you have all this extremely fibrous material in here. And then you go into the muscle, and it just erodes away. So the bone is gone, the tendon is sticking up, and the flesh from the muscle is gone. Alright, so let's take a look at that. This is what happened here. This is millions of years. No, no. Hour and a half, two hours maybe. <laughs> this is all very tough, tough tendinous material. Very tough. A tendon is just, you just almost can't move it. And it almost requires no, no um, blood. This is the strap that's in the center. You see the circle there? Remember I told you there's a little circle? That's the one that locks it in to where that bone is. But that's all gone, and this is all gone. And this would have come over this way from this abrupt transition into the muscle. I think that's quite obvious. Now, this, again, let's go back to my shop. I have a better picture of this. Hold on one second. Well, actually, it's the same picture. I just had to expand it. Now, again, you saw, you saw this. You saw the pin. What are we looking at here? We're looking at the same thing, the abrupt transition, muscle's gone, there's the pin, here, gone, and here it is up here in a little better detail. Now, you see here this little pinky, all that red blood coming down, that's the service muscle. Muscle takes a lot of blood. That's brown, you don't see any blood at all in there. You don't see any pink in there. It doesn't need it. You see that circle right there? That's that ball, that circle, that would attach to that bone back here. All right, so it breaks right here, because this is tough, tough, tough. Here, not so tough. Here, not so tough. This tough, this tough, and that's what we saw in the ocean. 
quite simple, my friends, quite simple once you understand. So are we looking at millions of years? What do you say? No, I say absolutely not. That thing fell over and died. That could have been literally a few hours. If the, I don't see how you can see it any other way. Now, this is muscle, muscle mountain, I call it. Well, what is this? This is the guy's van. And this is red blood coming out of here. And these are connective tissues and muscle. Now, what it's part of, I don't know. But there's the red blood dripping out of there. The red blood stuff sort of erodes easy. This is connective tissue, more, more connective tissue than muscle. There's a lot of muscle in here, too. But wherever you see the stripes, pretty much those are connective tissues. And what that means is your muscle can pull in and out. But the connective tissue is there tough. It can only go so far this way and so far this way. And that's the connective tissue. And it's whiter and it's strappier and stripy. And then the red blood can just erode right out of there. In a lot of cases, all you can see is these little flat sheets with all the red blood is eroded out. And there's a bunch of places that that happens at that are just stunningly crazy. And one of them is Mars. All right. What you have to understand is all kinds of different muscle in your body. This, I would say, is probably somewhere in the shoulder area or, you know, where it has all these overlapping things. You've got twisty sort of things going on. And that's the connective tissue. Remember, that ran out of there and is leaving these stripes all over the place. Now, what can we determine from that about the thing I told you about Mars? Well, first of all, we have to understand what sarcomeres are made of. These are muscle sarcomeres. And these are the connective tissues, the little white ones. They run all across here. And then there's a bunch of red, gooey stuff in between, and they pull together. This is a contracted muscle. This is expanded. All right? Contracted, expanded. And they're showing what it is. Now, this will just dry up and come out because it's like a glue and this will dry up and come out all of the red stuff and it, all you end up with is blocks like this missing all the red stuff and all you have is the little white plates now muscle requires a lot of blood as I showed you in my specific right here this is muscle if you could see this in a microscopic shot you would see those little blocks and then you see a bunch of connective tissue like this from right here over to about here. And then it just breaks off because about here you're done with the, the transition from extremely tough stuff, which is tendon, into the not quite so tough mineralized. And you have what they call abrupt, or I call them abrupt transitions. And out here, they're done. Out here, you end up where the bundles of muscle just break off. All right, but from here forward is just nothing more than connective tissue and muscle. Requires a ton of blood. That's why this is pink and that's not. A ton of blood. And all that would run out of here and all you would see is the little slots and here they come. And guess where they are? On Mars. Now this is the Mars crab. This goes back to 2015. Curiosity the rover landed up there. And I know it's up there, and no question about it. I've done all the research, trust me. That is the artery. And the, all these little legs are the blood vessels going in to service the muscle. That's the vein coming back. Now, what do we see? We see the muscle sarcomeres. You see this? This is a NASA picture. I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm not giving any NASA any kudos, my friends, because I, I sent this to them. I said, you got biology all over up there. I sent this in 2015, as soon as I saw it. And um, I really never heard from anybody that I can remember. But they, they ended up funding Yale to do a study to see if soft, soft tissues could fossilize like this. And Yale says, yes, they can. All right, now here's all, these are all the sarcomeres and the blocks. And these are all the little stripes that are the 
connective tissue and all the red stuff is run out completely and that red stuff was the blood just like we saw on Muscle Mountain that I showed you before all right just ran out of here now Muscle Mountain is not this kind of sarcomeres these are like straight sarcomeres Muscle Mountain had the woven style you see they're woven but there's still sarcomeres in there it's just that it's it's not boom 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 but there's all the blood that ran out it's just dripping out of here because it's it's the weak spot is the it's fluidy blood is fluidy now this is on mars that's on mars so this, it's got biology on mars all over the place up here and there's a mars morse code these are nothing but interstitium those balls and straps are what's in the your body tissue just under the skin and the, and the reason I know this is up on, Mar on, on um, um, Mars is because this, there's no erosion here. There's zero erosion. All right? In other words, no water has fallen on this. So that's just the way it is. Now, these straps are pulled out. The skin is expanded here and pinched here. That's what that is. Those are interstitium balls. And this also is these balls right here are these Mars blueberries. And those are the same interstitium balls and the straps have completely eroded away. This is just right underneath your skin. Mars is just another gigantic planet. I mean another thing of just gigantic creatures. It's just, dude, that's it. Mountains, they claim a million years now. This, I believe this happened about 3,700 years ago. According to Velikovsky, the Earth was just destroyed, really destroyed, basically. And there were giants that were just enormous. And as the Bible says, there was giants in the Earth in those days. And after that, after the sons of God went into the daughters of man, they could change themselves into anything they want. They could change themselves into fungus if they wanted to. Ants. You read Ovid, he says, the first thing is, I'm going to tell you that these metamorphoses, it's called, they could transform themselves into anything they wanted. And they transformed themselves into human-sized gods that were just really hot-looking studs, came down, had sex with all the women, and then the DNA didn't work. They went miles and miles tall, many miles, because these giants, I mean, these angels could be literally the size of, of planets literally the size of planets so it, it just it, enoch said they ha happened to grow about two and a half miles tall i think they were taller now two and a half yeah that's getting started <laughs> but, you know from what i'm seeing two and a half is no it's not a big deal at all you see that that's how i got started on this azores thing somebody sent me this picture or I saw a post that I can't remember I gotta be honest with you but I get so many things from so many people and it's wonderful because then I check them out now I find it hard to believe that they block these off but I don't know that could be but why is this such a different looking color over here and over here 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 did they do something different there and they might have they might have terraces or something so that the water didn't run quickly I, I don't know that I don't know but the rest of the stuff that I did show you or will show you of that stuff I am quite certain now are they working their way over this way to start to harvest whatever's going on here that could very well be it's hard to say but what's going on up here why is this different up here these little chunks there's so much to look at as you will see or have seen i think I, I think this is the last clip as a matter of fact i know it is because i'm going to say goodbye now <laughs> all right I, I hope you have enjoyed what you saw and this is the azores very interesting the world when you see it through a whole new set of eyes from mud fossils it takes on a whole new meaning i mean a whole new meaning as you can see here all right, that's the Azores. That's the Azores. I mean, it's crazy. Man. That's Mars. And Mars has the Mars crab on there. 
all this stuff back 2015 nobody pays attention to the things they don't want to know about they I, I reported this to NASA and it was on the news it was everywhere on the news they found a crab on Mars they gone no they said ah you people all have pareidolia I, I said well can you explain to me I sure I told them what it, exactly what it was and of course there was just the silence almost made me deaf but then I noticed that that um, Yale had done a paper on soft tissue preservation and uh, yes it does happen and under certain circumstances which is this the same circumstances here that was on earth and soft tissues were preserved they say it was before any life even existed on earth other than soft tissues no bones no teeth no sh that's just not correct and it wasn't 540 million years ago either and I submitted all my evidence to Yale a, a long before they published their paper on it which was perfectly preserved soft tissue fossils this one right here exceptional preservation soft body creatures promoted by silica rich oceans that's just a name they gave them and this was November 2016 my paper was up in 2015 but I had already given all this to Yale and they re just refused to engage it was Derek Briggs I gave it to so I posted on uh, academia.edu it's called fascia facilitated fossilization which is all my stuff is and it, this has got bones it's got everything we have new species and feet and everything else and and it's it's really kind of tragic to think that they can charge all that kind of money and just disregard honesty and truth I, I and um, and I trust me I push this thing as hard as you can push it and you just can't get it anywhere with uh, with these people once they're in power they're in power and you're done and if I was a student they'd fail me that's just the way it works you say what you're told to say or you leave in disgrace without your little piece of paper or your money so you better be prepared to say what they tell you to say and that's the way it's always been and I don't think there's going to be much change to that unless you people stand up and make a change. Anyway, that's it for today. But I think I'm bringing, bringing it to the table here. All the truth that exists, I don't think anybody can, can stand up against me now either. Plus, I see on uh, chat GPT, they're saying, yes, that all the mud fossils... It, you know, they say everything would change if this was true. However, it needs more. It needs scientific evidence. Well, I have DNA tests. I have CAT scans. I have specimens. We have blood. We have everything now. There's no, there's just no, no getting away from it. And even the mud fossils, they don't accept. They don't say, you know, like that. That's not a piece of meat. Yes, it is. And that's not a goose. Caesar, I'm not sure you are a goose Caesar, but you're some kind of a waterfall. There's just feathers and everything. Then my other stuff, I uh, CAT scan, DNA tested, and they look like, well, here's a, here's a lung. Right here, that lung was DNA tested, human, and it's got, blood just runs out of there. I drilled a hole inside of it. You know, you got to go deep inside. You can't get it off the surface, obviously. And you do it with, with precautions and everything else. And then I sent it off to the lab. I had three things tested. You see how flat that is? That's because it was in the Great Flood. And it was a hot, boiling hot water flood, which, which boiled the flesh off of these creatures and left these body parts. Totally perfect. And it was the fascia that protected them. That's why I wrote the paper, Fascia Facilitated Fossilization. So anyway, that's it for today, my good friends. And if you want to read that paper, it's up on academia.edu. Fascia facilitated fossilization back in 2015. All right. Thank you, my good friends. Um, hopefully we can get some truth out of this eventually. But it, this is a struggle. This is something we have to speak up about. It's just not going to come out of thin air because... Uh, as you see, the evidence means very little. It has to be exposed and be discussed. Because you can suppress, I'm being very, very suppressed. Even though I, there's over 200,000 subscribers, I only have a couple thousand that are, 
that didn't even know that I exist, basically, a few thousand. The rest of them, I don't know, they came and went, and no, nobody's getting notified. It's, you know, they don't advertise my channel, they don't recommend it anymore. They call it, um, what do you call it, um, non responsive. <laughs> Why? This is deadly stuff, man. I can't understand. Well, I do understand it, but I, I don't think it's right. Well, I don't know. I really don't know what's going on. I don't want to be a conspiracy guy, but I got a feeling it's, for some reason, it's just not getting the exposure it should. That's all I can say. And you, I, I believe that you're kind of fortunate to be able to, to see this and make your own decision instead of being led around. And um, that's what's happened since, since the dawn of time. It's been the one that wants to create the narrative that supports them and their interests, whatever they are, whether they're self-interest, interest for the country, whatever the interest is, you're going to want to support your own side of it, obviously. And that always ends up, if you get a guy that really want, doesn't care about truth and all that, there's no integrity, he's just, the door's wide open, you can make up anything you want when you're in power and it sticks. And then somehow you got to get back out of that. And I think it was Mark Twain said it's much easier to to fool somebody than there is to be able to show them that they've been fooled. And I've been showing it <laughs> means nothing to to the average person, basically, that I can see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're picking up on it. And I know some are, but you know, I would have thought, and, and it did. This kicked off big time back in 2014. It was I was just overwhelmed, and I wrote all kinds of stuff. And um, but then it got just crushed, and every I basically most of the stuff had to get taken down, and yeah, it was all kind of problems. And maybe I didn't have to take it down. Maybe I overreacted. I don't know. But here we are now at this point, and I think I've made my case a hundred percent. And you take it for what it's worth. I I don't know much more what I can do other than to just keep showing it. And I know that gets a little tiring after a while. I see it over and over, but I try to bring in a new little aspect to everything, every every video. And I do, I find every time I go over something again, I see, wow, how did I miss that? Something new pops out of it, virtually every time. And then you guys respond and I get something from that, which is just what I had today, this Azores thing. I would have never seen that. All right, I love you all. Take into account truth. And don't just accept what you're being told is, you know, oh, we're science, scientific people. We got PhDs. Well, that's, that's uh, no big deal to me anymore. I can tell you that. They have a, a point t to make and, and they can't support it. That's not, that's not a scientific person to me. And that's all I have found. Now, bit of support on their side against my evidence. So I think it's time to, to somehow get this exposed. It's just very, very frustrating. I, I, all I ever wanted to do was get people to see this and then I could sit back and watch. That's all I wanted. I was never even shown in any of my videos for five, six years. I, I, all I said, here's the, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is, and psh, nothing. So it's up to you guys to spread this around somehow. And I, I did get some information that I'm not getting people thumbing up and I'm not getting any shares and, you know, there's all kinds of things they're saying is why my channel's not doing what it should, but I don't know. I'm not very good at this stuff other than to just, I just do the videos, that's all. I'm, the rest of the stuff way out of my league. I'm not a media guy. I'm just trying to figure out how to use X now. <laughs> no, I could figure out how to use it, I just haven't used it. I posted all my stuff up there. I never got any response from anybody, but so we'll see what happens. All right, I love you all. Pay attention. This life goes quick. I'm telling you right now. And as far as I'm concerned, something happens later. Now, I'd like to be on a good side of later, and I think that's what Jesus came to say. This stuff is real. Pay attention. All right, we'll talk again.